Feeling disconnected from your community? Turn to BrainerdDispatch.com. Local news keeps you in the know on what's happening in your area. From breaking news to high school sports reports, get the important news of the day and updates on local events only at BrainerdDispatch.com. Good afternoon, Brainerd Lakes area. It's Wednesday, July 10th. I'm Teresa Burke with your Brainerd Dispatch Minute, the weekday podcast of the Brainerd Dispatch, named best daily newspaper in the state of Minnesota, catching you up on the news of the Brainerd Lakes area. Here are today's top local headlines. The Aiken County Sheriff's Office wants more time to review the case against Brian Pippett, following a recommendation to overturn his 2001 murder conviction. In early June, the Minnesota Attorney General's office recommended his conviction of first-degree murder in the death of Evelyn Malin be vacated. The Attorney General worked with the Great North Innocence Project on the case. Senior Assistant Aiken County Attorney Lisa Rakotes wants more time to review the voluminous case file, which includes more than seven boxes of files. 84-year-old Evan Malin was found dead in February 1998. In trial, prosecutors presented a theory that Pippet and four other men burglarized Malin's convenience store and killed her in the process. Reporter Tim Spire has all the case details in today's paper and at BrainerdDispatch.com. It initially seemed a done deal after the Brainerd School Board proposed purchasing the school farm property from Crowing County last year. County commissioners expressed their agreement in extending the district's lease for the property to the end of 2024 and working out details for the sale. They questioned whether the district wanted to purchase 40 acres of the land or the full 80. This week, though, those plans were put into question. Find out why in managing editor Renee Richardson's story in today's Dispatch or online. Also in today's paper is my column on the search for this year's 4th of July treasure, put on by Brainerd Community Action. I enlisted friends and co-workers to help me search Brainerd and Baxter to find the treasure. While I didn't have the luck I wanted, I did have fun in the process. I talked with Brainerd Mayor Dave Badeau after the hunt and got all the inside information on the treasure hunt clues he wrote. Read all about it in today's paper. Voting is now open through July 31st for the 2024 Best of the Brainerd Lakes Contest. Vote for your favorite local people, places, and organizations. Visit BrainerdDispatch.com slash Best of Brainerd Lakes to vote once per day in every category. From former Dispatch publisher Terry McCullough's column, This Was Brainerd, exploring the Dispatch archives, here's today's tidbit of local history. 30 years ago today, in 1994, the dispatch reported that the Brainerd area has long been synonymous with trophy walleyes and northerns in its lakes. Now it will become known for its population of sharks. Chuck Grillo, VP of the San Jose Sharks of the NHL, announced they will hold their preseason training camps in Brainerd. For a daily dose of This Was Brainerd, visit BrainerdDispatch.com or find McCullough's column in the newspaper or e-edition. Now here's today's Lakes Area Forecast, brought to you by Tanner Motors of Brainerd. Storm Tracker. Today's weather forecast for the Brainerd Lakes region, mostly sunny skies with some isolated afternoon showers or thunder showers. Temperatures likely warming into the low to mid 80s this afternoon. Clearing off tonight with a low around 60 degrees. Sunny and warm again tomorrow with a high in the middle 80s. Chance of rain very nearly zero on Thursday. The weekend will start warming things up. Temperatures may get up around 90 by Saturday and there will be a few scattered thunder showers over the weekend. I'm Storm Tracker meteorologist John Wheeler. Thanks to Tanner Motors for their support. And thank you for listening to the Brainerd Dispatch Minute. For more news throughout the day and for information on becoming a subscriber, visit BrainerdDispatch.com. Have a great day and we'll catch you tomorrow.